Hello everybody, welcome to my farmhouse sewing room. Um, this is a special video that I wanted to put out because I have um, a subscriber out there. Um, she's from Slater, Iowa. She sent me a very special box today. I just got out from work and um, I come home and I have this great big box. Um, and uh, it's from Lynn B. And she had... Um, contacted me through um, my email and wanted to send me some fabrics. Wow, I am like, wow, you know, I mean, somebody wants to send me fabric. I love fabric. So I graciously said yes, and the box came today. Um, so I get home from work tonight and I'm really surprised at this big box and I kind of wanted, I haven't even looked in it yet. So I wanted to kind of share with all of you what this wonderful woman has sent to me, so. I'm going to look in the box. Jim's already opened it for me and got it. And she just put a very nice note on here for me. She says, Marnay, hopefully you will be able to use some of this, Lynn. Thank you very much, Lynn. I am, I'm like over the moon um, <laughs> that you are so thoughtful to send me fabric. I mean, this is just amazing. So um, I'm opening up the box and on top. I see um, some batting. Quilt as you go. I mean, I'm going to become the new quilter in this area. So um, this will come in very handy for making quilts. And, and it has the little designs where you can um, kind of, you know, put your own um, fabrics on here and make something really fun. I know I'll make something fun with these. I just, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm ecstatic. Oh my God. <laughs> so here's another one. A quilt as you go. Some batting. Oh, I'm seeing some fabric in here. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Um, I have some craft batting, some bozel. Very nice. Very nice. You can always use batting, especially when it comes to quilting and crafting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is so amazing. Oh, okay, the one thing right on top. Wood fabric. I have looked because <laughs> I am doing the Lori Holt barns and the wood fabric would make awesome barn blocks and really pretty quilts. And this is absolutely beautiful. I'm just like, I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh, you know. Oh my gosh. Horses. I love horses. I used to be a horseback rider. I still have my saddle and bridles. Someday I'm hoping I'll have another one. But um, yes, I'm, I'm a farm girl. I love my horses. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's got like barns in the background of the fabric. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have so much fun. Oh my gosh. Ah, some more barn board. This is awesome, red barn. I love red barns. And it's one of my dad's favorites too. I know he likes barns. Oh my God. <laughs> this woman knows my heart. Look at this, goats, <laughs> I love goats. I have Gilbert the goat and I probably should get some more videos of him up, but because I think he needs a playmate, but I love goats and I love watching videos on goats. They are so funny. They are so personality. I mean, if you can watch a goat, goats are just, they're just, they're just amazing. They, they really put a smile on your face. Oh my gosh cows. I love cows. I'm a farm girl. I love the red cows. My favorite cow is a Jersey cow, but my dad has a lot of these um, Holsteins. But uh, very, very nice. I mean, this is just, <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay. This looks like a panel. I see tomatoes and carrots. Um, I'm, I'm sitting on my floor because I'm, I'm like ecstatic. Oh my gosh. This is a barn panel. I'm going to try to get this where I can show all of you. This is amazing. Oh my God, it's got chickens on it. Oh, I'm ecstatic. Oh my God, it's got a tractor. This is absolutely beautiful. Can you all see? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I am in love. I'm in love with this stuff. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. So beautiful with the, with the garden vegetables and the tractor and... This is so me. I I feel like I feel like really something special. This is amazing. This is absolutely beautiful. 
I could be in this room all the time and just sew. I really don't want to do anything else. This is my passion and my love. And I really love to create stuff. I mean, this is amazing. Okay. I need my Java juice to keep me going here. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. These are some really cute pre-cut squares. I love pre-cut squares because you can do a lot of things with these. Uh, I take all my scraps and I cut them up into squares. Uh, these are really nice Henry Glass and they're Nana May. So I take it these are probably for like children's quilts, which I, I love to do baby quilts too. I haven't done any of them in a while, but these are really super sweet with super sweet little colors. Just, just absolutely, absolutely amazing. This box has a lot, so I don't know. Um, so here's another one. Farmhouse Floral. Oh my gosh. And this is brand new in a package. Um, I don't really want to take it out, but I can see that there's plenty of pretty colors. These will be so much fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's two of those. The Farmhouse Floral. Um, <laughs> amazingly beautiful. I'm just like, I, I, I feel like I won the lottery. I mean, this is just so awesome. Oh, here is Riley Blake's Farm Girl Vintage. Now these are Lori Holt. I am a huge Lori Holt fan. I love her and I love her books. Her books are amazing and they're so easy to read. And she's just so down to earth, you know, that, you know, I don't know. She's just a really cool lady and I love her stuff. So this is really cool. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I wish I could say, this is From the Farm by Chris Lammers. They're 10 inch squares. This is like amazing. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm, oh, there is vegetables and strawberries and farmer's baskets, like a farmer's market. And oh my God, this is so cool. I can't wait to make quilts. This is so awesome. Thank you, Lynn. You are amazing. I can't believe that you would take the time to send this to me. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is Riley Blake Designs and they're animals. <laughs> my god oh my god lynn if i if i could see you i would hug you i would just hug you this is like so awesome oh here's some farmhouse little two and a half inch squares super sweet super sweet oh my god i would have so much fun i have really got to make something special this is like amazing oh here's there's a, quite a few of these uh, this is strawberry jam in the two and a half inch pre-cut squares and Here's another one, Lancaster, two and a half inch pre-cut squares. Um, let's see, here's some, oh my God, this looks like Christmas, Christmas on the farm. It's cows with little wreaths on them. Oh my God. This is so fitting because I am in a farmhouse and my, my new business is gonna be country farmhouse quilting. And I cannot wait to make some really amazing farmhouse quilts. Um, I'm really hoping that, that, uh, that uh, my quilting business takes off. I'm really excited to get my gamble. So I'm, we're on the countdown and I'm trying to keep everybody posted about, you know, the farmhouse quilt that I'm making right now. Oh, actually, it's on the farm quilt. Um, I didn't work on it the, this past week because I made Mother's Day gifts and things. And um, my Mother's Day gifts, if you want to see them, um, I tried to post them on Instagram. Um, but I will see if I can get some pictures up on my next video too. Anyway, back to the fabric. Um, here is some black and white and it's cute little cows. This is super sweet. Oh my God. It's just super, super sweet. Oh my gosh. I didn't know th fabric like this could even exist. This is just so cool. So it's something different that I haven't ever seen before. Ah, I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, here's some more cows with sheep and my favorite cow, the Jersey with some barns and looks like there's some farmers in here. This is just really cool. Very cool. Some farmers trucks, some chickens, just oh. any ideas to help me um, make something fabulous. I mean, I appreciate your comments. I mean, I'm just, oh, I'm just in love with this stuff. Here's some barns with some horses. Now let me see if I can hold this up so you can see it. Absolutely beautiful. 
I love the red barn. I mean, my mind is spinning on, on creations because I am very creative and I'm, I go to sleep and I dream about this stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm just I'm a quilting addict. I mean, I'm a sewing addict. Um, this looks like another panel. It has some little sayings on it and I love anything with little sayings on it. So home is where the heart is. All roads lead home. This is just um, a fabric panel. And you can see it has some different sayings on it. Let me see if I can see what else. Um, love warms every nest. Definitely have a nest here. Um, love begins at home. Yes, it does. I love this. I just, oh. What I could do, what I could do, what I could do. I don't know if there's enough time. I uh, really need to get busy. Really need to get busy. Oh, here's some more awesome wood fabric. Oh, I love the wood. Wood, the, the barn board fabric is so great because it's just, I don't know. I'm thinking barns, lots of different kinds of barns and animals and just really cool things, tractors and Okay, so on to this box was, this was quite a box. Oh God, here's some um, cows and ducks in a pond and you can see some of the barns. I really can't open these up. They're so nicely folded, but um, you kind of get the idea here. I'm gonna try to put these up so you can see the barns and the wonderful colors that are in these, the blues. Ducks with baby ducks, it's just so sweet. God, I'm just, I can't believe it. I mean, it's just awesome. Wow, there's, there's a huge piece of this. Oh, cows and pigs and barns. Oh, let me see. I'm on the floor. I'm sitting on the floor, so I'm trying to open the box and, and look through everything. But this, isn't this awesome? This is just awesome. I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> Who doesn't love animals? I don't know, I love the sunflowers, chickens. I have chickens. I have a goat. I have ducks. <laughs> and we had pigs last year. We raised pigs for, for butchering, but I try not to get too close to any animal that, you know, I know it's gonna be food. So the pigs, yeah, we didn't get them when they were real young, but they were a good size. But yeah, I was like, I don't wanna get attached. <laughs> you know what happens, but yeah, I love animals. It's part of life. <clears throat> so here's another panel. Oh my gosh, this one's amazing. It has a barn and some horses. And let me see. It has the American flag on it. And up here we have some horses. Very, very pretty. I love the barns. I think with that barn board fabric, I mean, with these, some of these panels, it could really make something amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I see some chickens. Oh, this is beautiful. So I'm not sure if this is a panel or fabric. It looks like it might be several panels. Oh, but I'll give you an idea. I love chickens and roosters. I love the vegetables. Okay. So it's got a really nice border. So this could um, be nice blocks to be um, framed out and make something into like a, you know, market quilt. But uh, very cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to fold these all back up nice and neat. <laughs> this is so awesome. So awesome. Oh, this looks like it goes with that panel. It has the same style barn. Um, I see a church in the background, which is really cool. This is a very homey, kind of reminds you of the country, you know, with the rolling green hills and the little white church in the background. Reminds me of growing up in the country. You know, sometimes when I was a kid, sometimes I hated living in the country, but yeah, I love it, you know, because I could not ever be somebody that lives in a city. This is really cool. It looks like a winter scene with different barns. And so it's just very, very pretty. Very pretty. I love the barns. I love the barns. It's just awesome. 
Oh, here's some Christmas. These are Christmas panels. And let me see what we got here. I see like tractors. And... So let's see if I can hold this up. Tractors and wagons. And let me see what's on the other side. Oh, like a bench and a, a truck. Very pretty for a Christmas quilt to be all framed out. I would love to do a red and white quilt. My um, mother-in-law-to-be uh, made a red and white quilt for her sister and stars and it's beautiful. And I'm like, I wanna make one of those, but I've got so many other things I wanna make. It's, it's hard to decide <laughs> what I really wanna make. I mean, like I said, I wish I could just sew all day long. So here's some more panels. Oh my God, this one's awesome. I see some chickens. Turn this around, I gotta see um, some barns and some horses. And uh, turn around here, it's got an awesome old time tractor. And it looks like, is that a farmhouse? Sorry, I'm not very good being single handed and trying to show you things. But it very much does look like a farmhouse with a wagon. Let's see if I can give you a close up of that. The old time farmhouse and the barn in the background and the trees. Very cool, very cool. There's just a lot to look at, so I'm just trying to give you a quick visual here of, of what Lynn sent me. Um, she's amazing. Amazing, amazing. I just, it wows me that somebody wanted to send me so many beautiful things. <laughs> so, um, wow. <laughs> this is so awesome. Love this barn. Love the old time sled. I did a lot of sled riding when I was a kid on those old style sleds. Um, just very, very pretty. And there's some snowshoes down in the... Oh, yeah, if I'm trying to get it up so you can see it. My cat's trying to peek in. So that's a very cool, <clears throat> very cool, um, very cool panel. Wow, I'm going to have so much fun. I... <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun. I just don't know where to start. It's just so cool. This is really, really, really cute. I love the whimsical chickens. I would have to do something really fun with this. This is so stinking cute. I love whimsical chickens because chickens are just funny, you know. They have their own personalities. I love to go out and talk to my chickens. <laughs> I call them my girls. Okay, here, farm all. I love farm all. Um, this is farm all winter scenes, and you can see there's snowmen and barns. Oh, my dad would love this. This would be a great oh, Christmas quilt. I mean, I don't know. It's just making something really cozy and warm and farmy, you know, curled up by a fire and with a nice warm quilt that, you know, somebody makes you. It's it's awesome. Wow. This is amazing fabric. So here are some more um, farm scenes and they have like some labs and some chickens. And there's some geese. I mean, I'm trying to go, oh, there's even a horse on here. I'm just trying to give you a quick visual. I see chickens. I mean, this fab, this might be like the one I showed you before with the baby ducks and stuff. So I think this is the same one like the other one. There's so much to look at. It's, I'm just... I'm awed by every piece, every piece. Okay, so this one looks like the one that I showed you before too, that has the barns and the cows. So there's quite a few of these in the farm all tractor. Um, this is like a summery fall, fall scene. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, I love this. Very farmy with the cows and the plaids and by local. Every Sunday, and it's got like little chicken feathers and chickens on it. Very, very, very pretty fabric. I love this. This is very, I love it all. <laughs> it's just, I don't know what I, I pick a favorite. Oh my goodness. Here's some more farm all. <laughs> I've been putting farm all tra uh, tractors on my, uh, on the farm quilt. These are a little bit different, but I, I love the tractors. And my dad is 82 years old and he loves his tractors. And he just bought a couple tractors and brought them here and wants Jim to work on them. And, um, and um, 
fix them up. I mean, farming is in my dad's blood and I think that's what keeps him young as well. But um, he would love this stuff. He really would. So here's another fabric. Um, this one has cows and horses and tractors. It's just all so really cool. I mean, I just love it. Just love it. I'm sounding like a broken record. <laughs> it's just so much cool stuff. I mean, it's just hard to not get excited about these cool things. Oh my God, this one has cows and baby calves. And I don't know if you can see that, but that is super sweet. I love the springtime when the, all the babies are being born because that's <clears throat> usually when the calves, you know, they come in the spring season. Oh, let's see. Um, wow, I, I'm wondering where she got all this fabric. I mean, this is just beautiful, beautiful. These have like blue tractors and barns and see some fencing in there and just absolutely amazing. Wow, um, there's still more to go here. I'm trying to show it all. <laughs> it's just it's great. Okay, so this looks like another panel. It has some different scenes on it. I'm gonna try to open it up here a little bit. Maybe some fall. I see some horses and some scenery. Let me see if I can pull this up. Uh, it looks like some pumpkins. Love this. Love the scenes. They're just beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Here is um, a rooster and a hen with some sunflowers. I love the sunflowers. And there's some cows. And it looks like an Amish wagon maybe or something. Kind of hard to hold them and, and show you but I'm, I'm trying to give you the idea of what i'm seeing here oh this one <laughs> this is another panel i'm gonna try to hold this up um this looks like it has some sheep in a barn very farmy some ducks very beautiful cows so if i can get it all the way up so you can see I'm doing my best. Really cool, really cool. I, <laughs> this is just amazing. So, um, okay. There's some more scenes. I'm gonna open them up a little bit. So these are individual blocks. These would be great framed out for a really nice quilt or a window quilt even. So, um, I can turn it around. And I wish I could have a hold these up or maybe have like a design wall. But a lot to look at. A lot to look at. Um, I gotta have to soak it all in tonight and process it all. <laughs> Cause uh, it is a lot. I mean, looking through it, and I want to go back through it again and really look it over good, but I just wanted to open this up and share it and um, show you what this wonderful woman sent to me. And I'm just, I'm just over the moon. So here's some more blocks. I love those, these fun little plaid frames around them too. So, let me lift up here so I can kind of give you a visual. And some of these might be repeats, I'm not sure. There's a lot in here, there's a lot to take in. Um, a lot of panels, a lot of panels. These will make amazing quilts, they will make such amazing quilts. And I will have so much fun with my new gamel when it comes, you know, um, quilting these into something really beautiful. 
which I feel honored to do. So this is a really cool scene. I love the sunflowers, the old Amish buggy, the barn with the with the beautiful um, quilt block on it or quilting star. <clears throat> time to refold so um, I'm just gonna give you a quickie visual on this this is some different style barns in different panels these are amazing they're just absolutely amazing <clears throat> oh here's some looks like a rooster I can see this not sure what this one Holds, but I can definitely see some uh, roosters and some horses. I love that cow. Oh, she's my favorite. I love Jersey cows and I love the blue swirl behind her. She'll make something really pretty. Oh, some more chickens and geese, roosters. This one's really cool with like a moon or a sun. This one I love too. I really like this panel. This is really pretty. I almost have something similar to this on a pot holder that my mom had got me for Christmas and it almost looks like the same chickens, but I know that they're not the same as what I had, but love the Jersey cow. Love it, love it, love it. And let's see. Oh, this is another repeat, I think. Um, yes, got very much some of the same blocks on it, so that's really neat. Um, I'm getting down there. <laughs> I'm getting down toward the bottom. This one might be something similar to the one with the, yeah, I believe I did show you something like this with the checkered border. So, and let's see. This one is another repeat that I showed you of the horses and the little blocks. I know I'm probably not a very good show and teller of trying to hold these up and unfold them, but this one looks like a barn with the sunflowers, another panel. And this one looks like it is a winter scene with a barn. Wow, this one's really pretty. Let's see if I can hold it up. Oops, I got it upside down, sorry. So a very pretty red, oh, this is the one with the sled on it. Okay, this was one I've already showed you. So there's probably an extra one of those. Um, here's some really cool fabric. And this almost has like a retro look to it. Has the little barns and um, a different kind of feel. I really like that. So you kind of get the idea of what that one looks like. And I think these are repeat panels as well. Let me just do a quick look. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's a lot, but there's some chickens and the red tractor. And I think the farmhouse, yeah, this is one like I showed you before too. So there is a few in here that are the same. Um, this is really pretty. It very much a um, fall scenery with like chickens and pumpkins and different things. Very, very nice for fall. Okay, and then there, ooh. This looks like cowboy material. <laughs> this is so cool. You got the horses and the and the cowboy. Very different. I like that. Okay. Kitty? My cat is over here trying to get in the box. I think he wants in there. So here's some more panels that have like the chickens. I'm not gonna unfold this one, but I'm just gonna give you the idea of of what it's got on there. Oh, 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 here's some more of the 
the horses like the cowboy with the fencing. But this one doesn't have the cowboys on it, but it's very cool with all the the running horses. And, oh, I can just I can just imagine what I'm gonna do with some of these. Oh my gosh, you gotta see this one. This one is old country farm, poultry, eggs, and dairy. Oh my God, I love this. I love this, I love this. Very, very farmy. <laughs> God, I just, oh my gosh. Farm fresh, buy local, locally grown. This one is an awesome. Oh, my kitty's trying to peek in. You see his whiskers? <laughs> <laughs> it's a farmhouse and I have schnauzers and I have a kitty and he's a curious cat let me tell you all right getting toward the bottom this is some rooster fabric this is very pretty very colorful definitely love it oh a couple more to go this is super cute the little barns and red tractors very fun and whimsical Oh, and then we've got some horses, and it has like these borders in it that um, have like saddles and rope and stuff. Very cool for um, doing something with a horse, the barns. I said, I'm a cowgirl. Okay, and a couple little things left. There's a couple more packs of these little um, farmhouse two and a half inch squares which are amazing. I love working with squares. And then here is another Marcus Fabrics, Aunt Grace backgrounds. Oh my gosh, and they look like they got little schnauzers on them, but I'm sure they're like some kind of like little Scotty, but I call them schnauzers because they look like my schnauzers. But these are wonderful and I love these. And these would make great background fabrics for building Lori Holt squares and things. So that is all what's in my box. <laughs> But this is absolutely amazing. And this was quite a size box, just so you get the general idea. This box was the box that she sent me. And I really, really appreciate all of this. Um, thank you so much, Lynn B, for taking the time to send this to me. You are so thoughtful. And I am so gracious. And I will definitely enjoy making things out of these fabrics, I promise you. <laughs> they are all right up my alley. So um, thank you very much for watching and opening up my box of um, beautiful farmhouse fabrics from this wonderful lady. Um, if you like my videos, I wish you would please subscribe and um, you can follow me on Instagram under uh, Broken Wings Sewing Creator. Um, I do put a lot of things on there that I can't show. I'm also on Facebook under uh, Broken Wing Bags and Baggage. I try to put everything that I make on there. I've started that back in, um, what was it, Two, 2014, 2015, I think I started that. So it gives everybody an idea of what I do and what I make. Um, I'm just a crafty kind of girl. Um, but I'm progressing. I am very much progressing. This is my passion and I love it. And I would love for you all to uh, join in, you know, and enjoy the ride with me because I, I'm learning a lot of things. I'm always learning and I want to learn more. Um, but I'm starting my own business, my own quilting business. It's called Country Farmhouse Quilting. And it's going to be right here in my farmhouse. And I'm going to keep you all posted on, on things that I do and when the quilting machine comes and how it's going to operate. It's going to be really, really exciting. So come along for the ride. Um, I'm hoping you enjoy. Okay, thanks you for watching and have a great night. Bye.